What's up guys, this is Alex Drops returning for a follow-up video on my advanced payment system and I would like to show you how it works real quick as I said, one diamond or three iron, I'm going to pay one diamond and sure enough, when I press the button, I will receive a golden apple and there can be multiple multiple items to choose from two different prices or more if you really like for each item and different prices overall and you can add more features to it and it's all customizable and I would like to show you today pretty much how it works and the real magic starts right here um, I, I extend this out a little bit I obviously made it more compact over there a little bit but it's really easy to understand what's going on in this version Basically, this is a system that I saw in Seth Lung's video, Smart Payment. Um, he got that idea from AC Tennis AC, I believe, uh, who posted a video using this method, and I took it to a different level, and I used it to create the system I made. Pretty much, I'll show you what happens. Whenever I pay an item by throwing it, it'll land on this pressure plate, give one pulse, and then fall down to this water. Whenever the pulse is given, it will activate this dispenser full of iron, as well as come through a long delay, go through a double inversion, which is necessary for later parts we'll talk about, and then it'll go to our output, in this case I made a piston, and this would be the output for iron blocks only, remember that. Okay, so I'm going to pay one iron here. And when I threw that in, see how it only activated that. Now, what happens here is using a new feature in 1.3, um, it's called item stacking mechanics, basically. How when I shoot out iron from this plate, it lands there. And whenever the iron hits down there, it'll just stop and stack with the rest of the items so it'll lose all of its velocity and stay right there so it'll only activate this pressure bullet and it'll just go through this delay and activate this repeater now if I do it with a diamond as you see it blew right past the diamond I mean the iron but then it managed to stack with the diamonds here in this dispenser now you didn't get to see it that time but I'll show you this next time I try it it activated this one and this one however it will only give a pulse it will only give an output to this piston I'll show you again so that's the point of this double inversion here. Whenever this is activated by either a diamond or any other block really, anything other than iron, it'll come through. Uh, actually, no. Two things will happen. One, is this is pretty much just a pulse sustainer here, um, a very small one, and it gives a very short, I mean longer pulse, but not that much longer. But it's long enough to come here and activate this at the same time when this turns off. So if this turns on, this will never receive power as long as this is on or this is on. And this will turn off because the iron one was activated beforehand, but then this will not allow it to go through. So unless you have an iron block, this will never turn on. And the same goes with the diamond one down here. When I threw the diamond, if it activates this one and then sticks to the diamond, it will block the iron, come through a double inversion, and then activate its output. However if I throw in anything other than iron or diamond like dirt in this case go past the iron go past the dirt and activate the final one which will block this one so when I throw in iron this one turns on when I throw in diamond this one turns on but when I throw in any other block there is no output received so this system it's a uh, pretty it's pretty useful I mean you can use it in a lot of things not just vending machines it's good for maybe an adventure map, trying to get past the door or something. You need to pay a certain amount of items. But apart from the system, let's continue on with the scheme of how I did the payment. Basically, after these outputs are received, 
I used sand unary counters. I got the design from Magix. I'll link him and his uh his thread in the description. And basically, if I can show you, I'll show you on the big the big um machine here. If I pay one diamond, whoops. I apologize for the lag whenever I throw something in, but as you see, this turned on one. This basically counts one, and then whenever I pay again, this one will be up and this one will be up. Whenever one of these is turned on, because this is when you receive the you see the input here and it turns on. Um, if pulse is given all the way to here, which deactivates a lock right here, and this lock, this is the button. This is on the other side of the button. Let me show you. The button for the regular golden apple comes through here, and normally this will be on, and it won't allow the pulse to go through to the dispenser. I apologize for the mess, but whenever this is turned off, in this case I paid a diamond, and it turned off this lock. So when I pay, it'll turn off normally, activate this torch, which will give a pulse to the dispenser, which will give me a golden apple. So let's go over, where is it? Here it is. If I just hooked where these pistons are, and I put them over here in this counter, you'll need a separate uh, sand counter, unary counter for each item. So I have diamonds and iron. You'd need two for each. So one, that'll go up. Let's say I wanted, um, you have to pay two. You have to press two. And I don't have any blocks with me or repeaters, but let me just get something. Oh, I have the output right here. So whenever this is activated, you'll get an output for two. So it's pretty simple. We can just put this into a torch, which will deactivate a lock, and it'll allow you to buy your item. And here, like I did one diamond and three iron, I believe, or was it two iron? I think it was three. But here I paid one diamond. One diamond will activate and uh, turn off the lock, and also three iron. If this is turned on, the same pulse, right now it's all turned on because that one's turned on, but the same pulse would deactivate it. So that's how you get the diamond or the iron. And then for each other payment you want, you can just throw in an output for wherever you want it at. Like if I wanted it to pay four iron, I could put an output there and connect that to turn off a lock. And that's pretty much the whole system. There's one thing I'm going to show you that we're missing and that's basically whenever you pay something you can't get two in a row so whenever I press this I'll get my golden apple and the pulse that activates these dispensers here behind this wall is dispensers if you, you probably can't see but the pulse that activates the uh, dispensers also sends a pulse to a reset. These are both reset and whenever these are activated the whole system resets like these are no longer sticking up anymore. And I can show you on the smaller one whenever you get your item a pulse is given right here and those will just turn off. And so that's really all the system is. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions um, I'd be glad to answer them. If you, I didn't explain any parts good enough, then I'll try to do it by text instead. Check the description for all the links I provided for um, all the designs I used. And thank you guys for watching. I expect some new content in the next few days because I got some new stuff I want to show you guys. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.